Hi all, in this video, let's discuss about the increment and decrement operator in JavaScript along with the edge cases and also with the prefix and postfix as well. So let's get started. So first thing is like, what is this increment or decrement operator? For example, if this is a variable, we are assigning some value. This is known as an increment operator. So this is equivalent to what we are doing exactly here means. So we are taking this counter increment variable, okay? We are taking this counter increment variable equal to counter increment variable plus one. So this is what we are doing. Exactly this is what we are doing. This is just a shortcut for this. So what we are using like plus plus is a shortcut for what we wrote here. We'll take the variable plus one and we'll assign the same to the same variable. So instead of doing this, we are shortcutting, we are doing it like this. So this is a shortcut. So increment or decrement operators we use for a shortcut instead of this we are using like this. Fine. What happens here is so you can see two and it is incremented because two plus one it was added to three and three was printed here. So this is in short an increment operator. So the same applies for the decrement as well. So let me comment this. So the same is for the decrement. So here it is two and you are minus one. You are doing minus one and assigning the same to this variable. So minus two minus one one you will be getting. So now this is for the decrement. So whatever we do for the increment operator, we learn for the increment operator, we'll apply the same for the decrement operator as well. So that's the reason I will be explaining the increment operator things here. The same will be applied for the decrement operator. So now you understood what is an increment and what is an decrement operator. So now let's see. So this increment and decrement operators should be applied on the variables. See, this is a variable. So you could able to apply this increment or decrement operators on the variables not on the values for example i'm enabling this so you'll be getting this error because five is not a variable it is a value you can do increment or decrement on the variables not on the value so this is a reason so the chaining also will not work for example so i'm doing this so x so let me say this as a x i will move this line to the top Let me take this as a console log x. So x plus plus. I'm doing x plus plus here. So fine. This is fine. So now if I apply again plus plus, you'll be getting the error. The reason behind this is once this variable, this is a variable and you're incrementing this variable. Now this becomes the value. X is a variable. You can happily apply this increment operator. Now this one becomes two. After that, two plus plus you're doing. So it is an error. So this is same as like this. You can apply the increment or decrement operators on the variables, not on the values. And that is the reason this chaining also will not work. So chaining also will not work. Chaining of the operators in the increment and the decrement will not work because this becomes a value. And if you apply this, it will throw an error. So that's the reason. Now we need to understand about, we, we, we got a knowledge on increment and decrement. What is increment and what is decrement? We have another thing like, prefix and postfix so if you keep this plus plus this plus plus in front of this x this becomes prefix so this is a prefix now we call this as a prefix there are two forms for the increment and decrement so one is prefix and if you increment this after here so this becomes postfix this is a postfix so this is a difference like these are the two ways of increment and decrement one is a prefix if you increment before, it is a prefix. If you increment after the variable, then that becomes a postfix. Fine. So do we really have any differences between the prefix and postfix? As yes, we have a small difference. So let's learn about that difference. We have a count here, one. What we are doing here? We are doing prefix. It means we are incrementing this counter and we are returning the new value. So if you see, now one, and this one is incremented. Plus plus one means it becomes two. So two was printed, fine. So now let's see the same. Okay, I will. Uh, what I will do is I will remove this plus plus here. I will keep the plus plus here. So now this becomes one. So in the earlier case, what it happened? So let me remove it once again, and I will show you. If you increment prefix, it became two. See, let, let's write something like this. If you prefix, it is two. Okay. Now if you postfix, it is one so let me postfix as well i will add the postfix here plus plus so it becomes one see the same thing 
same variables everything is same but if you keep it prefix it you you got two if you keep postfix you got one why so let's discuss that point so first thing if prefix means plus plus you will keep plus plus here what does it mean you are incrementing this counter and you are returning the new value so here we return new value so that will return the increment operator will return the new value as any of the operators increment and decrement operators also return some value in a similar way here we are incrementing this count value okay and we are returning the new value whereas if you post increment if you do the post fix what happens is you it will return the it will of course if you it will increment the count but it will return the old value it will return old value so this is the difference between the prefix and the postfix of course this count value will be incremented but it will return the old value that is the difference between the prefix and the postfix okay hope you understand so but if you are not bothered about the result okay if the result of the increment and the decrement is not used okay then there won't be any difference between the increment of uh, operator or prefix or postfix if the value was not returned if the value was not used immediately then there won't be any difference between the prefix and the postfix for that you can see this example okay you have a counter so you are not returning this value okay you are just incrementing or decrementing okay at this point at this line you are not using or you are not using the value of the counter so that is the reason if you are in, in this case if the result of the increment or decrement operator is not used then there won't be much difference in prefix or postfix in these forms so that's the reason it is zero and in this level it becomes one and at this level it becomes two and two was printed if you're not using the result of this counters then increment or you can use post or you can use prefix anything you can use so coming to to the another one so you can use this increment and decrement operators in the expressions as well if you take this is an expression two into some value so how it works so this plus plus increment and decrement operators will take high priority first it would be incremented and then the value would be multiplied clear so the same happens here so now for the postfix also this plus plus or minus minus increment or decrement this will have the high priority in any of the expressions which you are using the increment or decrement you'll be having this as a high priority right so when to use this prefix uh, prefix and postfix is if you want to use the newly returned value then go with the prefix if you want the old value then you can go with the postfix in fact you will not use the returned value then both are the same both will not give much difference in terms of this when you use the in the expressions this increment or decrement operators will have the high priority first this value would be incremented and thereafter so that's the reason you got some value here so let's you take this one also you got two okay so i think i have used the same variable name here the variable name is different fine so here if you see it is four here it is two this is one okay plus plus this variable it becomes two now so two into two that's the reason you got four here and now this is one here see this is the best example to understand it returns the old value see it is one you are adding plus plus but it is not taken at this level so two into one it becomes two okay that's the reason like uh, it will it is going to return you the old value here it is going to return you the new value that's the reason it returned two two into two it becomes four and if you see here here one you're adding plus plus it becomes two one itself because it will return you the old value so one is here so that's the reason you got two so this is a major difference like uh, between the prefix and the postfix we need to understand what value it is returning so most of the cases in the interview questions or the multiple choice questions you will be confused with this so just understand this plus plus means it will increment this counter and it will return the new value it will increment this variable and it will return the old value this is the only difference we have for the increment and decrement operator hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos thank you